everyone, this is SMNG5, and welcome back to NASCAR Inside Line on the Xbox 360 edition. We're doing the continuing our single season. We did the Budweiser shootout on Saturday, and that was fun. Uh, we won, but today we have the duels. Let's head to Daytona and earn ourselves a spot in the Daytona 500. So, this is going to be a short race, only 12 laps, but it's a dual race. It's not supposed to be the same length as the 500 or the Bud Shootout. So, here we go. Qualified 13th, and that should put us on. That should put us in the. That should put us in the first stool, I believe. The inside row. Greg Biffle is your pole setter for the Daytona 500. Okay. It's time to set the starting lineup for the Daytona 500 with a pair of 150 mile qualifying races. The duel at Daytona. I'm Mike Joy with Daryl Waltrip. Mike, these races are fun because the driver has one responsibility. Don't wreck the car. Go out there, get some information, kind of prepare for the Daytona 500. So go out there, drive smart, and oh, by the way, try to win. This is the opportunity these teams have been working on all winter. It's time to go earn a spot in the Daytona 500 or load up and go home. One thing I learned in qualifying was that the car was just a little bit loose going uh, in on the bottom of the corners. That's one thing that I feel like we need to work on. We're underway in the dual race. Whoa, this is a big ride, guy. I'm going to chef Kyle Busch. Okay, so apparently Kyle Busch is going to run his double mint car in the Daytona 500 instead of this car. And he's, Eric Amarola is going to drive that car. We're all going single file up high. I'm going to bum draft a Hamlin here. Hopefully I can win the dual race because I want to pull off. I want to see if I can pull off the Daytona Triple. Uh, I tell you what, we may be pulling away from these guys, but my air temp is sweatier than a dog. We'll have to pit, and unlike the Bud Shootout, we do not have that um, caution for pit stops. So we'll be having to pit on under green. This could very well be our first green flag pit stop um, of the series, unless they just, unless they wreck. Okay, I went behind, I went underneath Denny Hamlin a little bit, but I went back up. I'm surprised I haven't dented Denny Hamlin's rear bumper yet with how hard I've been hitting him. I wonder if I could do what I was going to do in the butt shootout. What I was going to do in the butt shootout was, with Kevin Harvick, was bump draft him until we get to the, until we get to the tri-oval. And then, sunshine. I didn't want to pass St. Hamlin there. Uh, I'm going to get back in line with him. There we go. Ooh, I can't close to hitting that wall. I'm gonna try and get a little wind of air through my little grill. Just a little bit. Ooh, I got on the brakes a little too early there. We don't want to go to a backup car. That's something we definitely don't want, is to go to a backup car. One thing I just don't like Denny's doing right now, he's just kind of trying to stay up high. I don't know if it's helping us any. We're still pulling away from that other pack, but I don't know if that's helping very much. Okay, now it's time to back off of him. I need, I need to get some clean air. Because my temp is going up way too much. You know, we're coming up on pit stops. I wonder... Should I take some tape off in that stop so that way I could push maybe a little bit longer? I'm not too sure. Maybe I might take some tape off during this pit stop. We got people on pit road already. I really don't have to come down pit road until another two or three laps. Oh, 
Oh, I'm trying to stay off of Denny Hamlin to get that clean air. But I'm also trying to stay behind him in the draft so that way I don't lose him. More to go. And fall back. You know, there's four laps left. Look at your fuel gauge for me. Great Uh, should I just even stay out? No, I'm not gonna make it. I mean, I might run out of fuel. Well, I think we can make it, honestly. So you know what? Ready to go. I'm not gonna pit. I'm gonna push in the clutch and save some fuel. Okay, now get back in the gas. Biffle's coming, but I know they're gonna pit, so... Denny Ham was coming to pit road. I don't know, I'm saying I'm gonna stay out here. I think I might have saved enough fuel. Right when we get in the trial roll, I'm gonna push in the clutch. Alright, now we're gonna save. Yeah, there's no way Biffle and Edwards came to pit road. Or wait, Edwards isn't even with them anymore. There's no way Biffle pitted. There's no way. Make it count now. Here we go. One more time. I'm holding Biffle up. Okay, behind you. Alright, I'm gonna get back in the throttle now. I know I'm gonna be out of fuel by the end of this thing. But come on. I can make it, I think. Pushing in. I'm out of fuel now, but we won. We have won, but we we are out of fuel, but we won. Obviously, there's no season standings quite yet because there's been no points races. Somehow I dropped all the way down here, somehow, even though the season hasn't started yet. Anyways, Eric Emerald is your points leader. Yeah. Alright, and on Monday or Tuesday, we've got the Daytona 500. Um, I don't know about you guys, I'm ready for it. Um, it's gonna be a blast. I love Daytona. Let's try to see if we can pull off the Daytona Triple and get Casey Kane his first Daytona 500. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for me, and I'll see you in the next video.